So in this video, we're going to try to mount my walled 137 basket onto this bicycle. I'm going to try to attach the legs around the, or on these, uh, on this brake mount on both sides, of course. I've seen this done. I've never seen in detail how it's done, but I have some ideas how I might be able to do it. When you're doing bike builds and just tinkering around the house, one of the most important things is to have a bits and bobs, as I'll call it, a uh, jar or box like this one or however you want. They, this type of stuff comes in so much handy whenever you're trying to build something or do something like this. You just dig through it. I <laughs> seems kind of funny, but I'll just take uh, like this wrench here and I'll just kind of... I'll literally just kind of scan through it and see what I can find. And so often I find a solution to what I'm trying to do just with random brackets and junk that I have in this box. And sure enough, this time it was the same thing. I did find some, some hardware that I think is going to help us out with this basket mount. So being that I found that, or those L-shaped brackets, I think what I'm planning to do is to have the basket on. Actually, I'm going to turn the basket around backwards. So normally this part would be towards the front. But to have a shorter distance and a cleaner look, I'm actually going to have this uh, go towards the, you know, that part instead of over here. Anyway, I just rotated the back, uh, the ba basket backwards, and of course I'll have to take these off later. And so what I'm thinking about doing is taking this member and keeping it in its mostly uh, up and down orientation and attach it to this with one of those L brackets. If it doesn't make sense now, you'll see in a few minutes. Now, as you saw, I had quite a few options for different brackets, and, but I found a couple that match, which will be kind of nice, so they look the same, and I think they might just do the trick. The nice thing is this bolt is very long, and I think even with the additional thickness of this bracket, I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Now, at the moment, I'm not going to paint this or do anything to it, because who knows if it's going to work. So I'm not going to waste time doing that yet. And I think we're going to need it to be kind of like this because we need it to stick out. Pro probably be better if it sticks out a little bit. But if that doesn't work out, we could also do it like that. Now, it shouldn't affect the, the brake's function. Let's just check. All right, that doesn't mess with anything. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I thought about it a little bit more, and there is actually one piece of metal in my shop that I think will do just the right job. This is actually the locking bar on one of my toolboxes, but I've had that toolbox over 20 years and I've never used this, so I think it's time to get sacrificed for this project. And honestly, I like the color of it already. It's kind of matching the gray and red and black theme we have going on, so it's plenty long. It's actually thicker, so it should be a little bit more sturdy also. So I think that's gonna work just perfect. I'm just gonna bend it uh, somewhere right around there and uh, let's see what we get. Now when bending this sort of thing, you wanna be careful not to bend too close to the hole because it can stretch and distort the hole itself. I think I'm far enough away. Oh yeah. Okay, now that I have it a little way, I'm gonna try hammering it. Take a look how it is now. That looks good, and I definitely didn't, I don't think I messed with the, the hole any, I didn't mess it up. So let's see. Ooh, that looks just about perfect. Check that out. Just like that. It gives us plenty of length. In fact, we'll probably want to cut it down a little bit. One very important tool in my shop is my calipers. You don't have to have them digital, but I would get at least precision calipers, whether, whether they're dial or digital. So now I'm just gonna dig through here and try to find a quarter inch bolt. It needs to be pretty long though, because it needs to go all the way through that fork. Hmm. I 
that's a little bit smaller, but that might work. Okay, I found some nuts and washers that will be appropriate for this, and I'm going to go ahead and bolt this up. So that's going to go through like that. Then I will put a flat washer on the back, a lock washer over that, and then finally the nut. Now this bolt is a little bit long, so I may end up cutting it down, but for now, while I just get this thing working, I'm going to leave it as is. And you can see right there, the, the bolt is a little longer than it needs to be. I might cut that down later. That looks pretty good though. It's uh, fairly stiff. Let's see if we can set the basket on it. I think I'm going to set the bike down real quick and make sure that this is bent the right way before we go any further. As I feared, <laughs> it's pointing way too far up. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to bend that down right now. Get it where we want it to be. There we go. Maybe I'll bend it a little bit more. I really would like it to be nearly perfectly flat. I think that'll just look better. Okay, that's good. That's done. I don't want to go too far. That's the ticket. Also with that bent down, it, it um, gives me a little bit more room for the brake levers. That looks good. That looks really good. I think I'm going to go ahead. Next step should be to figure out how we're going to mount this onto here permanently. So let me go ahead and stop the video, do some thinking on that, and I'll come right back to you. I probably should have taken more care about where I placed these holes exactly, but I didn't and it's going to have to do. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. I have the lower legs or the legs mounted and they're very, very solid and secure. This uh, under basket bracket that connects to the fork is done. These are tightened down. I used uh, nuts that uh, the, the type that don't really back out. They have the plastic in them. I don't know what they're called. Self locking nuts, I think. And for these I used uh, lock washers I did have to go to the hardware store and pick up some additional nuts and bolts. I just didn't have enough. By the way, I used, I think, I think it was uh, number 1032. Uh, last thing I need to do though is go ahead and get these off since it looks like this is going to work. But I'll go ahead and take these off, then take the bike back down and show you what the, the final, final thing looks like. One more note though, I don't know if I really needed this to be that long because uh, this isn't really... I don't know, it's not supporting that much weight. I think it's more, more of these. This is more just not allowing it to go forward. So I could possibly cut this shorter, get rid of this, and it might just look a little bit better. Anyway, let me go ahead and try to get these off and then I'll show you the whole thing, how it looks on the bike on the ground. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to fix this a way that I didn't want to. And that's with the, uh, the angle grinder. Should work okay, but uh, I hope I don't damage the actual basket.
Looks like it's getting pretty thin. Yep. There we go. That's going to do it. Okay, after quite a bit more work than I expected, I finally got those last two pieces off. And uh, the good thing is, though, I was able to do a little bit of sanding and that rust just came right off super easy. I did order some uh, general metal polish. I don't remember what brand even. And it's supposed to work on like different coatings like zinc and uh, chrome and stuff like that. So I might even take the whole thing apart and like paint this stuff just because it looks a little bit rough. But uh, for now, I think we're going to finish the video up. I'm going to go ahead and take the bike down, show you what it looks like. Well, one thing I guess everybody will be curious about is how much weight this thing can carry. I don't want to max it out, of course, and risk breaking it. But I do have these two five kilogram dumbbells and I'd like to see if it can handle that. I think it should without issue. That's about 22 pounds. Okay, that's absolutely no problem. And stick the other one in more towards the front too. Still no problem, but I did see it flex a little bit. So yeah, 22 pounds. Oof, it's heavy on the front of the bike. I wouldn't want to ride with probably a lot more than that, but it seems to be holding okay. I would say that's probably about the practical limit though. You don't want to put a lot more than 25 pounds on these little members. Anyway, probably don't want to ride a bike around with 25 pounds on the front. <laughs> okay, well that's about it. If you have any questions or anything, just put them in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.